cleat on the mast, it broke years and years ago. I can't even remember what happened. Pretty sure this is from forcibly cranking the winch when the main halyard was looped around the clutch. If I remember correctly, this happened more than six years ago, the first time I raised the sail after buying the boat. <gasps> Idiot! The screw is coming out, no problem. This one, it's stripped and it hasn't budged at all. I'm going to try to use a screw remover. I think I'm going to have to break this away though in order to get room to use it. If you're replacing an existing clutch, you'll want to pay attention to the distance between the mounting screws. These are the common sizes. I need 2.56 inches. I have this, this screw removal kit. I have to say I've never had it work for me successfully. Because we, we can always break the plastic off and get a vice grip on that screw. But let's, let's just see that if this will work. Per usual, the screw extractor did not work for me. If I can make a big enough space to get the vice grip on. Oh, it is. It's coming out. I don't think that's breaking off. So this looks like it's just threaded straight in to the mass, which is um, several millimeters thick. Three, four, four millimeters thick probably. Replacement I got, Spinlock XAS slash one. And the challenge, I got this from Defender Marine. The only choice to make here is the line size. I selected one quarter to one half inch. The fastener will be a stainless steel one quarter inch countersunk screw that is one inch long. The challenge was the spacing of these holes for mounting. And I, it worked out because I, that's great. It is exactly the same. It does say do not use polysulfide or polyurethane seedlings. I was just going to put a piece of, um, uh, butyl tape down. Should I coat these with Lana coat? I think I should. It's kind of, oh, I think it's stainless steel on aluminum, so I'm gonna do it. Lana coat. compressing the butyl tape now and that's it that is a project that has been like five years in in, in the waiting I can raise my mainsail from the cockpit, but I prefer to just pull on the halyard at the mast. I can't do that when I'm on my own. There's nothing at the mast to hold it up. Thinking about this cam cleat. My solution was this Harkin 150 cam cleat from Defender Marine. And my question is, is there just too much 
curve to the mast there do I need to make some kind of a step off to make that flat and the answer I'm pretty sure is yes now I decided to make a backing plate from one quarter inch high density polyethylene this would be easy to contour With the backing plate shaped to size, I decided exactly where on the mast it would be mounted. This is kind of this is getting there. Edges are not quite touching yet. Of course, every boat project has to have some blood. I'm sanding my fingerprints off. Time to start thinking about drilling and tapping holes in the base plate and mast. The cam cleat specs call for five millimeter screws. The 45 millimeter length leaves about one quarter inch protruding inside the mast when I have my backing plate in place. The pitch is the distance between the threads. In my case, it is 0.8 millimeters. This factors into your thread tap selection. This five millimeter Hansen tap has a 0.8 millimeter pitch, which matches my screws. I use this Lincoln machine table to find the recommended drill bit size, which is 4.3 millimeters. I drilled and tapped a few holes in a steel plate before tackling the mast. Oh, by the way, it's a bit tricky securing these small diameter taps in the tap wrench. You need to push the tap through the jaws before you tighten the chuck. Otherwise, it will slip when you start applying torque. This is any. Got my five millimeter tap, which I'm going to add just a drop of oil. Try to go as straight as I can.
I've got my butyl tape and as I was working this piece I marked the top with some hash marks so that it would always have the same orientation and things would line up as expected. I'm just gonna put my butyl tape there. The top is marked. And I'm gonna get it started. Get it to poke through the butyl tape. Yep, it's just coming out the other side. I'll do the second. Okay, that one's coming out. I'm going to put a little Lana coat on. Not sure it's completely necessary in this situation, but. Hopefully it'll pick that up as it goes through. You see the butyl tape is expressing out and it seems pretty flush. So the whole reason to have done this is so when I raise the uh, main cell on my own um, up here and I got a big coil of rope, a big coil of line here at the base of the mass, I can just do that and that will keep the main cell up while I go and sort things out. So just a, a, a quick attachment point for raising the sail at the mast when you're single handing. So that looks that looks like that'll work. Yep. Yeah, that's good. I like it.